When the Battle of Joplin begins, just shortly after midnight, at the beginning of the 4th, after the Chicom cyber attack takes the entire grid down, the Snow Leopard Spec Ops unit, some of China's most elite fighting troops, consisting of four companies of about 400 total troops, rise up inside of Joplin and begin immediately capturing any areas inside this small city with any strategic value whatsoever. And their special weapons company begins to mine the entire so southern portion of the city and booby trap it. Unbeknownst to the 35th ID Combat Aviation Brigade and the Missouri National Guard 35th Engineering Brigade, both of which are Missouri National Guard elements, their skills will come in handy very soon when it comes to their engineering abilities and demining as they will need these skills to clear much of Joplin of obstacles when they try to come into the city a little later. Soon though, local LEOs are in battle with the Snow Leopard Spec Ops unit, but the Snow Leopard Spec Ops unit beats the LEOs back to the Joplin Regional Airport and then soon eliminate the rest of them and capture the airport intact. But a few LEO members did manage to go out and inform people in local communities of what was going on and ask for their help. And a civilian militia regiment was mustered, which would soon be joining the battle. Meanwhile, the 118th uh, Light Mechanized Infantry Brigades, Light Tank Company, comprised of Type 15 tanks, was coming in from other areas where the Chicoms have hidden these vehicles for many years as was the rest of the brigade in the south, coming in down I-44, headed toward the southwest. Soon, the civilians showed up, but the 118th Light Tank Company of the, tank, of the Light Mechanized Infantry Brigade was able to fight them off and completely overtake them. In the south, the Missouri National Guard began to lay scissor bridges and try to cross and clear and demine the area, and they were given cover by the Aviation Brigade. But the Snow Leopard Spec Ops, armed with SA-7 over-the-shoulder anti-air rockets, were downing many of the, and the helicopters giving support and wiped out this entire unit. Pinned down by the sniper fire from the Snow Leopard Spec Ops Sniper Company on high buildings, the Missouri National Guard were forced to flee, and the armed civilians that had showed up from other areas tried to help, but soon the rest of the 118th Motor 